Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiment Slaying episode number 3. Alright, the previous episode. A uh, few things came into light. Uh, there was this whole introduction of a whole new thing which was the Excella, the drug that if you ingest it will fasten your reaction process, your inner, inner metabolism, all that stuff. And uh, every, you'll see everything like 12 or 10 times uh, quicker you'll be able to do it and everything will like be in slow motion all that thing and another thing we kind of saw is and i suspect it that way i'm not sure if i'm right or wrong but i have a suspicion that the girl who uh, killed him herself you know like who is kind of saying that yeah i'm in the digital world or something i don't have the body but i am still here like that girl you know i think her name was he yeah, or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, like that girl, uh, I think she is somehow possessing Lane sometimes. I don't know why, but I think like a few things that kind of make me th is making me think like that is the first thing is when the dad br 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 brings the Navi to her, it's, she suddenly changes and says that dad, you have to do it now. I want it now. Like, you know, uh, she kind of talks like that and uh, another th time obviously which is kind of a big uh, indication i think is the ending scene where they go to the club and the guy kind of tries to shoot uh, lane but lane suddenly like freezes and then she starts talking like a completely different person goes in front of the guy and says something like uh, what did she say um can't remember anyways like you know she kind of says stuff and like the guy gets freaked out and shoots himself and that these two things kind of make me think because i think somehow chieka uh, I'm, I'm sorry if, his name, if her name is not chieka if the, if the ghost girl i think i think somehow the ghost girl is actually trying to get lane connected with the navi so that like you know uh, so that she he can go to the she can go to the digital world and that's how the girl is able to interact and come like you know into contact with all the other people i'm i'm thinking like she's trying to use lane as a medium i might be wrong you know i might be wrong completely but it feels like that because she's kind of possessing her sometimes it feels as if she's possessing her sometimes you know she completely changes her personality or maybe this is just lane you know as i said like you know this might be a completely split personality disorder multiple personality disorder because like maybe everything is going on in elaine saying maybe there's no ghost girl that's trying to possess her maybe it's just her maybe it's just one of her personality i don't know like you know like let's see like it won't surprise me if in the end we see something like that that everything is all lame like, you know nothing is nothing weird is actually happening everything was in lane's mind or something <laughs> who knows let's check this out this is episode number three of serial experiments lane so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the time you know, timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Oh boy, this song is so good. Okay.
All right. Okay, let's see what weird stuff happens in this episode. It, it always starts like this, like, you know? Kind of weird. Uh, Everything is weird in this show, what am I even saying? <laughs> oh my god, everyone's talking about her now. Lane of the Wire? What? Oh, oh god, yeah. Her mom was not there, so what? Hmm. Well, mm. she's kind of blanking out like time to time. It's like, look at it. What the hell? She, she forgot her name or something? What's happening? Hmm. Huh. What is Okay. All right, damn, it's like a very quiet place, like spooky. I realized it now, they have a huge house. No one's at home, I guess. Yep, no one is there. Oh god, this is spooky. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, Navi. Was it on the whole time? I love her dress. <laughs> she has Bear slippers. She has a bear hoodie. <laughs> oh my god. God. I feel if something's as if something's going to jump scare me or something. No one's there still. Uh.
Why is the Navi talking like that? Why is it? Wasn't the dawn different when we first logged in or something? Okay, <laughs> again her <laughs> bear hoodie. <laughs> oh god. I don't know how it actually feels to sleep in a place where there's like these kind of stuffed dolls looking over you all throughout the night. Damn, it's bright. Wow. Like, look at it. Like, it's like the stuffed dolls are. That's creepy. Oh my god, it's freaking bright. Ah. Okay, mom is back. Hmm. She doesn't know. Okay. Ah, same scenery. Red and black patch with little hints of purple. Ah, the buzzing sound. Oh, it stopped again. Oh no, is, is that guy still there? The guy, guy who was like peeking from behind the lamppost. Oh no. What the? It's from the inside. Wow. What's happening? Okay, great. Ooh. Mm, nah. Wait, wasn't Okay. Well, everything's. What the hell is happening? Oh my god! Okay. Oh yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're feeling like they're living a dream or something. What the? Mm. 
letter. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> oh great, here we go. What is this? Brown pepper. What the? Okay. Like. Oh my god, her eyes. It's like blank. What? What is like chip is mass produced? Well the knights. I'm not sure the knights exist. Hmm. Oh my god. Are these like the residual thoughts of people or something? Red and green striped shirt. Sleep paralysis, most probably. Yeah, it, it seems as if like the residual thoughts are kind of. Or like people's secret. Like. Okay. Oh, it's so a dad. Yeah, dad. Ah, it's okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of. You might know something. Okay. Or maybe not. What's happening? What is ha wow? Uh. Okay, what? Oh, great. There are two dots now, not one. <laughs> I think people would have gone crazy if someone lived like this. <laughs> like, you know? Like, if someone really lived like this, was in Lane's position. Oh boy, what? Oh god. Why is she here alone? Uh, wait, what? Who? 
Who the hell is this? What? Um, wrong person, but he she, he called her lame. Uh, those three kids. Wait, they know. What is that? Oh, that is a psyche. Okay, what does it do? I could get full access to the wide with even this. All right. No. Yes, priceless. <laughs> yes, pretty high spec. Oh, that's why the dad reacted, I think. No. Hmm. What's with him? Static electricity. <laughs> I don't have any money. How? Oh. oh, that's why people are calling her like that. Wait, someone is impersonating her or something? Okay, so that girl we saw before. How old are you? Oh, great. This kid seems as if he's... Wow, these kids are very... <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, great, the car is here again. How many dots? Three... Oh. Wait, that's not lame. Okay. Never mind. Wait, this is not Lane's house. Okay, these were the two dots that we are seeing. God, what is... Why are we being shown her perspective of the... Okay, she's... 
Okay, I, I kind of did not realize that's that's the sister. Yeah, is this the other personality or something? He's doing this. Like, he's wasn't she bad with technology? What was? That? <laughs> oh my god! This show. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, more questions, but we got got a few answers in this episode. And the first answer is that who that girl was. Like you know, who people are saying that they have seen her. Like you know, like those two friends also said something like like you know like wasn't that you lane it seems as if we saw you so this is what i think is happening as i said like you know i think most probably the the ghost of the girl or, or that that you know that's entity is somehow possessing lane or something is happening or she has some kind of spit personality disorder either of those and that's how she actually went to the um, the nightclub before and kind of beat the guy up and that's what the friends saw but when she came back like you know like she forgot everything she became the original personality and also whenever she goes into the wired she takes that personality again and that's why people are saying that oh like we like, you know lane is very wild in, in the wired it's completely different than you so it must be something like that and like it's like this last scene where we see she's like you know tinkering now obviously she she is very bad with technology so why how is she being able to do that that must be the other personality or something who knows but yeah okay another weird episode and uh, uh, another like you know batch of new questions we have <laughs> and okay for the first thing that kind of was a little suspicious is when arisu yeah arisu that was her name arisu was came and talk was talking with lane lane was like blanking out she was like arisu uh, like kind of you know like, kind, kind of like, talking in broken words trying to i think recall her name or something and she seemed very confused about the whole thing and you know but anyways she goes back home there's no one there and there's this thing happening where weird voices are coming from everywhere it seems as if you know things from the I'm guessing that's something which is related to the wired you know the whole thing that was happening like people are talking uh you know weird conversations like uh, everyday conversations and stuff like you know let's kind of like getting in i'm still not sure what that actually means but surely we'll get some answers as we keep watching and uh, yeah and then len goes to sleep it comes out the the card is still there okay so there are some people actually keeping watch on her you know and i don't know like <laughs> so something actually really is happening you know i i i was i thought that maybe in the end we're probably going to see something like oh everything has been her you know uh imagination or something like you know everything was her nothing was actually wrong outside but this kind of probably won't happen because in this episode we see some people really are actually interested in what's happening for example these two people they're actually like you know coming and keeping an eye out on a lane so yeah maybe there is something that's actually going on uh, obviously the whole thing with Excella that was happening and like you know the the wild lane that everyone has is been has been seen like that's another mystery that we got here so yeah and then they go to school and another again like weird stuff is happening okay here a lot of things are kind of explained which i was unable to properly 
uh, you know, catch up with because I was reacting to it. Now I'm going to watch it again. Okay, uh, when she was scribbling in her notebook. Okay, weird conversation is happening. Here's a conversation. But that's not all. If you look at the psyche as a mere processor, you lose sight of the whole. Okay, the psyche being that little thing. As a mere processor, okay, you lose sight of the whole. As a multi-purpose information terminal, okay, the Navi has come into wide use even among grade schoolers. All right, we know that. However, activity within the wired is currently limited by machine, by the machine. Okay. Oh, here we go. The psyche can dramatically increase the performance of any na navi. That's what the those little the, those kids were saying. All right, that's what it's actually happening. Uh, so. Like the, the same like it's, it's basically like PC, you know, like our, our PC, like with different specs uh, can run different things like, you know, a very high spec game cannot be run on a low spec PC. And uh, it's kind of similar to that, like, like people can do like, you know, go to the wired, but the experiences will differ uh, with different machines. That's basically what they're saying. It is basically like, you know, PCs and video games. So something like that and uh obviously we know that uh lanes uh navi is the most latest one because his dad was so happy her dad was so like you know excited and was saying like oh my daughter has finally <laughs> gotten interested in technology or something and she, he brought him her the the latest model and uh, yeah anyways And then again, weird stuff are happening. She's uh, like seeing the figure of that girl who has died. And uh, all right, anyways, school is over. And then comes the next portion where Lane finds an envelope within which is that thing, that psyche, which we actually get to know in the end that is the psyche. And. Uh, Okay, um, all right, now, okay, here is where we get to listen to the weird voices that were coming. Like, you know, like weird stuff, like someone is like talking about, like, what was that? Peeped in my voice mail or something. And then like someone's talking about the resume like the company or stuff and then there's someone talking about something like kissing or something like really weird like you know conversations like this and all right um so i'm guessing this is something that is related to the wire oh okay here's another information i think they gave us uh kind of Okay, they first they talk about the whole black market thing, the Accela, the guys freaking out after the whole incident happened and they're not supplying it anymore. And then here it is. Rumor has it that the Psyche chip is mass produced in factories in Taiwan. Uh, rumor also says that it was designed by a group called the Knights. But I'm not sure if these Knights even exist. In the Wired, these are like a lot of urban legends. All right, so here's a few more information that we got. Like this is like something from time one, and there's this group, weird group that no one knows even if it exists or not. Knights were kind of doing that. All right. Okay, and then comes the next scene where the dad comes in. Now, at the beginning, I was kind of confused why the dad acted like that. That you know, when Lane comes, like you know, to her, him, and says that, "Have you seen this before?" And like his dad before that was really cheerful and was asking Lane, oh, how is it going? Are you doing stuff in your, uh, you know, Navi? And then suddenly after seeing the psyche chip, he completely like, you know, changed and completely turned around and said, I don't know, like and went away. So I'm guessing there's something like related to that or some kind of stuff, you know, some kind of past or something. I'm not sure, but who knows? And anyways, 
and well like i expect her has her dad to actually know about the psyche chip because her dad knows about a lot of things especially technology oh yeah all right and then uh link goes out and goes to the uh the nightclub on the way he she again meets you know comes in front of the car the car has two weird dots hovering around which were probably those two guys who we see in the end you know like wearing some kind of uh, goggles something with the, the dot laser dot and okay lane goes in a weird guy comes around and says that where have you been stuff like that like he was basically talking about the the other lane that everyone is seeing and this lane has no clue what's happening she's like what who are you <laughs> and stuff like that anyways and then they go in and he goes in she goes in and we may meet these three kids again who we saw in the previous episode and from them we get to know what this psyche chip actually is okay uh here it is just a sec okay he says something like with that installed I could get full access to the wire with even this all right so okay so all right i can kind of understand it now so as as they kind of explained you know it's like uh this psyche chip is actually a thing which enhances the uh like you know like the power of the machine that you're using it with you know it enhances the power and that's why like as he said like you know like i don't even need a navi i can just use it with this the the weird gadget he showed us I, I think it's some kind of portable i don't know pc or mobile or something and okay and and when she asks them how do you use it just a sec okay the guy okay the kid says like it gives her the information all right he says that you've taken the basic information right a navi's basic motherboard layout is in the textbook okay and you connect it to the board opposite to the main processor and it intercepts the original data and manipulates it on its own all right so the data goes through the navi and goes uh, goes through the um psyche chip and goes uh, into the navi i'm guessing so it manipulates the data before uh, it goes in i'm guessing using it easier than uh, building a model kit okay you, you need to watch for, for static electricity uh. oh and that kid like starts <laughs> Like, you know like saying that oh i want to go on a date with you and stuff like that like i've seen you in the wired i want that wild lane and stuff like that <laughs> like you know and just a sec okay here's the thing lane looks really pissed off at that when he says that I want that wild lane, I don't know why. But anyways, uh, he looks really pissed off, and so that means Lane has some kind of idea about this wild. I don't know. Anyways, and the kid kind of backs off, and you know they go back, and the sister, Lane's sister, comes in, and she actually sees these two people, and he they say something weird stuff about like we're not here, you've not seen us. We're going away all that stuff and at the beginning i was i thought that that was one of the other friends you know lane's friends i was unable to recognize her that it was the sister and then when she actually gets in inside her house and goes to lane's room i actually realized that oh that's the sister actually not the friend so that's why i was saying like you know like oh why are they showing it from her perspective i was thinking that it was lane's friend and, but then i realized that no that was not lane's friend that was lane's sister so yeah anyways oh my god why Noses. <sighs> Anyways, okay. All right, and then we see Lane actually, like you know, uh, doing his stuff with the Navi or, or the PC or whatever, you know. And 
I thought that Lane is probably the other personality, but now I'm thinking that no, it's not the other personality because the Lane who got to know about everything from that those three kids. You know, those three kids uh, kind of like gave her the advice that you should not like you know you should keep watch out for the static electricity and you should also like you know like you have the ma basic manual you should read it and you can do it on your own so that's why i think that's probably why like she remembers those that means this is the real lane the original lane that we always see it's not that wild lane <laughs> you know so I'm guessing this is the original lane that's why i think like you know uh like after like getting to know all of that she came here and she's kind of trying to do everything on her own and uh, okay and then a weird thing again happened uh, okay let's see i, I really was unable to uh, like you know understand what happened there let me watch that scene again and see what's happening lane says that so i thought it would be safest if I took off my clothes because of the static electricity and the sister is looking at her and says that are you kidding and then Lane suddenly looks at her and says that ah welcome home this and smiling Lane never smiles like that I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get some answers later on but yeah a few questions got answered but a few more questions sprung up so I'm guessing like you know again we'll have to wait for a few more episodes for everything to kind of uh, uh, what do you call it like uh, for us to actually understand what's happening when they actually diverge the mystery or something I don't know but yeah so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to serial experiments lane episode number three so <laughs> i'm really loving this you know uh especially like everything about this the whole like setting the atmosphere um the story is kind of uh you know difficult to actually keep track on because lots of weird stuff are happening but it's really interesting and <laughs> I'm sure like you know by the end of this this show like you know by the end of this anime we're going to get everything like you know all the questions answered and that'll be amazing because I have a lot of questions <laughs> this is barely the start so yeah let's just wait for it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to episode number three of serial experiments lane so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of serial experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day